Hello everybody, I'm going to be playing a game called the Stanley Parable. The reason I came to this game is because of the description given by the developers. The description be given by the developers of this game, according to the Epic Games launcher, says this exactly. The Stanley Parable is a first person exploration game. You will play as Stanley and you will not play as Stanley. You will follow a story, you will not follow a story. You will have a choice, you will have no choice. The game will end, the game will never end. Contradiction follows contradiction. The rules of how games should work are broken, then broken again. This world was not made for you to understand. But as you explore slowly, meaning begins to arise. The paradoxes might start to make sense. Perhaps you are powerful after all. The game is not, to f not here to fight you. It is inviting you to dance. And that really caught my eye, you know, it, it caught my attention and here we are playing this game. So let's just get straight into it. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 Pretty upbeat and he pushed music. I like that. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what <laughs> buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. That sounds tiring and tedious outside. So winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. The I mean, as long as he... Yeah, as long as he enjoyed what he did, was happy. That's that's perfect, you know. As long as he's happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something I wonder that would what. forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say. Hi. Maybe he came to Never work on a Sunday. his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Alright. Employee number 427. It's quite a big office, you know. Also, yeah, like I said, he probably just walked in on a Sunday and just like, you know, let's uh, All try, his try were to gone. work. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe. Which one, oh, which one is the meeting room? It's a really cool game. There's... That seems like a nice picture. Is that the meeting room? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Do, oh, oh, so I could... Hmm... I could go to the left, like he said, but I could be a rebel and go to the right. Uh, let's follow the story for now. Anybody there? Your laptop, your computer's on. Don't think you should have left it on. Can't open that. Can't open that. Can't open that. It's awfully bright outside. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I highly doubt it. How to solve a dispute with a co-worker? Let it ball up inside you. Take it out. God damn it. I was reading something. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel on the 
text nice everyone is unique you most of all oh thank you it's very nice they're wearing the same shoes number of slides on the slide slides charts and slides charts that's pretty cool b1 quarterly post review post review 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 square, we need reviews. 402 plus 405, I want to get rid of the death sport portion in the primary review uh, schedule. But I think that's a stupid idea. More water coolers, more water cooler heaters. Wow. Boss appreciation minute. Solving interpersonal conflict. If you ever find yourself in a conflict with another diligent employee like yourself, but more inclined towards conflict, uh, unless you're like kind of a person who initiates conflicts, why do we? What are your dreams for the future? Nature, talk radio, success, transcend, lunch, travel, metropoli metamorph metamorphosis. Clear, clear skin, skin break, tips for, getting, tips for not getting fired. Talk less, do unbelievably amazing work all the time, every day with no expectation. With, expectation, with no expectation of promotion or recognition, don't get something. Oh, here we, are. here we are. Take it out passively, aggressively on other co-workers. Resent co-workers for not supporting you anymore. And then let it, yeah, that's a whole cycle. Alright, let's uh, get get to the boss's office. Oh, okay, so the door is just gonna move me. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Why do I feel like because you said there's nothing around, there must be something. There was nothing here. No choice to make. No path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. I can't. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom <laughs> closet. He wasn't even. <laughs> That's doing pretty cool, anything. dude. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. <laughs> he is. He's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. A sweet FA? Nice. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Can uh, you offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> uh, I really like how he's breaking the third fourth wall here. Is it the third wall? You it's do fourth wall. There's yeah. no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. Oh my god. Me because literally, this closet is of absolutely <laughs> no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah, I'm just going to leave then. That's actually really cool how, how the Coming narrator... Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Alright then. I like he was, how he's directly talking to the person this is your boss's office that this is your boss's office and I thought my cubicle was good executive bathroom could I use it Nah, it's locked maybe the bathroom I mean maybe the boss is inside the bathroom you know Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two eight four five <laughs> but of course Two, stanley couldn't eight, possibly have known this four five uh this is this is really it's, it's a really it's a really interesting way of uh stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs trying to input anything on the device was useless since he could never possibly know that the combination was two eight four five Is it the one out here? There's no keyboard here. Two eight 
four, five. All right, relax. I cannot find a keyboard. Oh, do I have to type it in two, eight, four, five? Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. <laughs> did <laughs> Oh, this, this game is really, really cool. Like, that is well, what a well done game, honestly. Big red sign. That's where it's supposed to go, I guess. And down we go. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Are you sure about that? And the power just went out. Is it turning into a horror game? I guess we'll have to find out in the next episode. See you guys. Bye-bye.